Mm-hmm. Here we go. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Anywhere you want. Yeah. Okay. I'll pause it right now. So I have seen this before, but every time I watch it, I think it's really, I think it's really beautiful the way that all the kids go and look at that thing yeah. and their bodies move in. I know because I know the video that that breaks apart later. So it's a really nice kind of building of the shared thing that they're looking at. Yeah. Gotten higher. Getting higher. It's high. Look. Yeah, I do know the video. So I also really like that she's got Liam's finger on the, the jar. And uh -huh. it's a great, I mean, so I know what's happening. Is that terrible? Like, I know it's going to come. So mm -hmm. what I think is really ne neat is that how he keeps it there, she's got him paying attention by having him doing something there. So when I watch this, I see her doing a lot of really nice kind of like like creating participation frameworks, mm -hmm. right? Where it serves for as like behavior management. Like she's managing his attention by yeah. having him do something, which is great. And this little kid here, I don't know what his name is in here in the transcript. If you want to point it out, if, if, if you mouse over yeah. his head. This yeah. little boy is narrating like what's happening. No one else is doing that, but he's doing it. And that's also oh. nice. Like he's really deeply engaged in it. Um, and like I said, I know I know who it is. Okay, we're gonna let it because right now the sand is going like this, and it's dancing too. So mark that. I really like all these things because I do. I think she's an excellent teacher. Like I see what she's doing. To like they need time for that thing to to do what it needs to do the apparatus, visually the yeah so thing. so for the whatever is happening in this experiment has to happen and she needs to like get it to happen mm -hmm. she needs yeah. to like get right. everybody to still pay attention in the center of this activity and not start wandering off and i think that's why she's doing all of this action right it also makes sense relative to what she's talking about i mean she's talking about the movement of the water in the sand. You know what it's dancing to? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. It's doing the popcorn. I love this interaction. I, I, saw that I mean again. she's this I know she's the child who, who speaks at the end of the, the fact that she is moving in like that mm -hmm. and she looked at her even before like she just the love that came from like in that moment is really awesome. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at Liam's finger. Everybody's looking. Now look at the jar and tell me where the sand is at. Move back a little bit so other people can see. So just incredibly, I think that she's got them so interested in a pretty mundane mm -hmm. experiment, right? And it's incredible. I mean, I work with kids. This is not a usual thing that happens in every classroom, but it happens in this classroom. So, I think that, 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 that large look reconfigures that tight. Totally. I mean, I kind of rewind so it's, it. It's, I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's, a really, it's a really beautiful thing. I mean, I do I think, think that, like, if I could, you know, put it, I won't do it, but it's like there's a, there's a movement of them in and out yeah. that she's managing through the way she's talking and by getting them to pay attention to this thing in the middle that is really not all that interesting. I mm -hmm. mean, it's not. She's making it really it's interesting almost to like them, the, the but they, they trust the, her. The bread rose, yeah. and now you can look at it, or That's right. something like but that. But look, when their bodies are in right, there, so. but I do think that she, so like even, it's kind of neat to just look, like when they're, at how they move in and out, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> like, look at that. They're in, and I know, can I just do it? Because I've seen that ruining the whole experiment. Like, when they start losing it, you know, like what happens, like when they start pay, playing with other stuff. Yeah, like you just you like get to see it. Yeah, yeah, things start. Other things start happening, um, and yeah, I just yeah. think that that's part of like when I've watched this before. I think that when we talk about like, the zone of proximal development and we talk about the development of intersubjectivity, she's organizing intersubjectivity here, mm -hmm. right? In their like bodies and their attention, where their attention's going. And she's doing that, you know, with mm. her talk, mm. obviously, yeah. and her actions, and it is related to her 
teaching philosophy. Now look at the jar and tell me where the sand is at. Move back a little bit so other people can see. Yeah, it's just hot cocoa. Okay, Alexis is touching it. Put your finger there, Alexis. So now okay. somebody else now has look. their finger there. The sand right? did what? Run down. It sank. The water did what, Liam? Rise. It rise. I mean, it's a beautiful use of like the children say it one way. She tra you know, she changes it and stumbles over it. He says, you know, it rised, mm -hmm. and she's like, she repeats that. Like <laughs> she doesn't change it. And the rocks stayed at the bottom. Oh, yeah. So we know that. So I think like right around matter. now, you start losing. Kids are breaking apart. Their actions like kind of falling apart, and I think she's trying to wrap it up. Oh, she's like, we things. know. Yeah. <laughs> And I think this is an unusual scene. Like she says, we know matter occupies space. I don't think that's what kids know. I think they've <laughs> been doing something. I think they've been doing something together and that's her lesson. We know that matter occupies space. That's not in the language of the children. It's mm -hmm. not what they said. And she's saying it. I don't think there's anything wrong with saying that. And um, they're brought, you know, and they're breaking apart. You know, she's losing them. And then this, this little girl's, I don't know what you call her here, but this, the little girl right next to her has her, you know, has something to say. Right. Okay, you can stop. I you can do, do it. You can, you want to do what? I love that, just because it's, he moved his finger. The experiment was, yeah. yes, this little boy has moved his finger away, and his finger was there as a marker to show that the water can, rose, right? Like it mm -hmm. came up higher. And so you're to look at the difference, you're to notice in the difference on, in the vase that the water level has changed. And so now this one wants to come in and do something. This other little girl wants to do something because it looks so you know, interesting and important. Well, it's yeah, important. Was like, it, it was he, just important. It was important. And, now and so like, now <laughs> she wants to do it. And it's like, I just think it's really interesting that she's like, I want to do it. And she's like, okay. And then she's like, wait, what are you talking about? You want to do what? <laughs> here's our experiment. So this is right. So it's like, wait, so you I'm think telling saying, you again, here's our experiment. I don't think they actually saying, it, know it, that It's that completed. Was, yes. I believe that they don't totally understand that what they were like that this what it was that they were supposed so to. So back notice. up a little. Let's back up and then get to where, where she right comes to the raised hand. But yeah, okay. I'm I'm curious about the status of the experiment as a thing that's. Oh yeah. yeah. I just showed you how you're going to do one and you're going to do one in the future, or we just did it and it's done. <laughs> Yeah. And you're saying, I want so, to do it too, and it's like, what? I mean, I what do you know do? these papers have their hypotheses about what they think well, is going to happen. Papers, right. And so they made predictions about what they were going to do. And then after what they're going to do, I guess I do remember, after they were to write down what happened in oh. their experiment. So oh. they made their predictions, and then they're going to write down what happened. Yeah. Rise. Rise. And the rocks. Stayed at the bottom. Okay, pause it there too. I mean, just because I noticed in here in the transcript that it says like the bubbles, and I've heard this before. I think they do say los burbujas. Like, I don't think they say the bubbles in Spanglish. I think they say it in Spanish. Oh. And I think she repeats it in Spanish. My, I, my understanding was that she repeats it in Spanish so that the English speakers this and Spanish speakers This is a, re a recent all hear it. translation. Okay. From someone that Fred reached out to, I think from ASU to do it. Okay, uh, I'm, it's I just different. I mean, this is yeah, part yeah, of no, making right. a transcript, right? I think that's what it is. It actually I feel like I want to hear it, but okay. Stay at the uh, oh. So we know then that matter occupies space. <laughs> <laughs> so notice again, it's like how we know, and she's pointing at that. She's pointing at this thing. We know. I'm like, there's the proof. We know it's that. Yes, thing. yes, yes. We know that matter occupies space. Nobody is. Yeah, I mean, why that? Shows I don't even you understand that. that space. Space. Well, so I, do you it think that what happens is, the, is the, the level of the water changes as yes. it settles? Yeah, it's that she so, poured so something into. Initially, so you have you have this, mm -hmm. and there's water. Yeah. And you pour in sand the, and rocks. Sand and rocks, as you can hear them tinkering. Yeah. So the the rocks at the bottom, you can yeah. hear that. So it's. The it change, the change in the state, and that's the dancing. is going to be like this. Yes. 
Yep. Then, and, the, and the kid's finger is here. Then maybe yeah. this is going to be sand. Yep. Yeah. And this is going to be rocks. So the sand, I'm repeating and, what the so kids what you, so The what sand you, and the rocks took up space, and that pushed the water up. That's why. That's why we know okay, so, that so matter occupies Everyone space. saw this, and this yep. is the finger hole. And everybody saw that change. Okay. And I, well, that, we that's the, maybe. I think that's the, that is the intention. A little more jar That's the intention. And you can see it. You can see the difference in the water level. And I think that that was the proof. For her, that was the proof. And that's what she's pointing at. But I do think it's quite interesting that the child, you know, the little girl on the left who wants to, to do it also makes you think, wait a second, we just did it. Like, I like I, that's that that, that's one course of thing. The other thing that's I just you're clarifying for me. I've, I've now watched oh, yeah. this damn thing three right, times, right. but you're clarifying for me that she's waiting yes. for this to settle. And but then, the little boy's finger is already on the water line. I think before it yeah. settles visibly. I think they. So it's, it's kind of all, all over. But, but, but maybe right. it means that what she wants yeah. them to see is that. The thing that was water yes. has moved and yes. been displaced. That's it's, what I think. it's visibly the thing that was water. That's what Although I think. the water is also wetting the sand and exactly. filling, filling in the yes. interstitial space. Exactly. The rocks. Okay. And I think and the children say things like that. When when okay. the water is going down, it's like it's sand I, and rocks. I don't think she actually meant I don't know if well, she meant it, to pour it. As rocks. soon as she pours it, I think it's this boy says it's rising, it's rising, and then another boy it's, says it rised. Yeah, it's, it's like all kid. over with. It's like it's, oh no, he says it, he says it, it's higher. Yeah. It's higher. Yes. This is this. And then he says it's high. Saying it and yeah. yeah, but they are. They're like all. They're narrating it, and for you know, for okay. some reason, it's very compelling to okay. them. And so I we were gonna we were gonna look compelling. for the status of this thing called an experiment. Yeah. In okay. Her okay. You can stop. You can do it. You can. You wanna do what? You wanna do what? Here's our experiment. Yeah, and it's again like I mean you see her go and here's our experiment. She puts her hands out like here it is. She before she pointed Let's at it. Let's go back and watch it again. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's like here's our proof. Yeah, okay, wait, I'm just okay. So okay, she's okay. doing that. It's going. She's also I will say like another. Thing. She's doing a lot with her hands so, of showing what's. It's like there's the thing. So That's yeah, the thing, like, and I'm going like, to show you with my hands. Exactly. And like early, earlier, I was thinking and uh, thinking again watching mm -hmm. this. Is that there's first something that's to be seen with the jar. Yes. And yep. then the thing to be seen with the jar is carefully reenacted. Yes. Yep. In its temporal sequence by on her, her body, by in her gestural stage. Absolutely. Right. Yep. By okay. her. And I think, like, she's doing that, and I do know, like, her Reggio training, I mean, they do a lot of work with recognizing the body as a way of yep. knowing, right? So. Okay. Be quiet. So here she goes, doing it. Be sick. The water be quiet, man. She waits. Her and waits. She waited for him. Stayed at the and she's doing it again. So she's leading them through what to say. That matter occupies space. <laughs> okay, you can stop. <laughs> you can do it. You can. You want to do what? Here's our experiment. Yeah, she put her hand thing. at the right place, actually. Yep, yep, yep. She yep. put her hand at the place where he had had his. Hand. So, but so when she, she says, also. when she says, "Here's our experiment," yeah, she is kind of releasing mm -hmm. the thing to be observed and explained. We're done now. Yeah, correct. here's our experiment. Yes, here. Yeah, all done. Yeah, and then Point what? Her you. next utterance is what? We don't have it in transcript. That's the thing. Oh wait, you have to I, go back just I, a little just bit. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Here. This is what I, what's she saying? This, this is what I want you to do. This is what I want, she's about to send them so off to go future, do the rest. Oh, yeah. oh, and it's to go it's right, for it's this to go paper. right up what they saw. This is what I want you to do. She's about, like she knows, and I do think she's there, she is, looking at her watch. Look at her watch. And right. I, I mean, for me, there's just this beautiful amounts of like, of working with children and like really knowing that she has to get through her, she's trying to get through her lesson she has her points. She's trying to wrap up. She's doing an experiment. I don't think it's bad. I mean, I, I know I'm saying it as if she's saying, here it is, pay attention here. I'm leading you through it by showing you with my hands. Like, you're, I'm asking you a question, but I'm also showing you, it does what? Wash my hands. Like, I'm giving you, like, you have that as evidence. You also have me showing you. 
narrate what I'm right. saying. I'm so one, just before we move on, one yeah. of the things about that that I think is kind of cool, and there's a student, Dan Reynolds, at Vanderbilt who's been doing this with uh, sort of morphological awareness training for vocabulary learning with elementary school kids. Mm -hmm. But some of their best tutors, it's not like a regular instructional session, but some of their best tutors create these like multi-body models built with gestures and using the tabletop for when something's floating in midair or yeah. you know, is midair at the top or is it at yeah. the bottom. And the, the tutors slash teachers do these really artful jobs of in order to check their understanding and they'll say things so, so if I want you to show me and then they'll say the word and they'll have set up the gestural, shared gestural stage yeah. to be an enactment of the meaning of the word but they don't enact it. Yeah. They wait. That's what And every doing. kid leans in and yeah. gives it a go and they produce different enactments. Well, that, and then she true. says, what? Midair. And then they all, they're, all their hands come into midair. I think so this it's, is it's what in, in a way, doing. it's like yeah. a little embedded assessment within yeah. the demonstration. And yeah. so kids, in a very non threatening way, are getting information about yeah. what the word I mean, is. I keep thinking of it. I mean, when I look at this, I think of it <clears> as creating like the zone of proximal development. Right. She's providing lots of mediational tools. She's doing it with her body. She's doing it here. She's got kids involved. And she's doing behavior management, like at the same time. I, like, yeah, organizing I think that's, I think us. And they're all over the place, you know? And that's yeah. not, that's, you know, they're, they're just being kids. Like they're rolling, their bodies are all over. They've got these extra papers that are relevant yeah. to the thing. And then she looks at her hand, and this is, you know, hey. So she's doing the same. I mean, that, I think this is interesting. She's not saying the same. Her hand, she's doing with her hands very similar movements right. to what the teacher had been doing. It goes up. And so she noticed something in what just happened right, right, here right, right. that's similar to what she has experienced in her life, right? But it's different. And, you know, it's, it not, is, it's not the same. But the teacher has to think about what she's going to do. Yeah. So everybody's starting to wiggle away. She's going to pull it Guess right. That's the, yep. ¿Qué sube? Yep. El gas sube. Yeah, so I knew so, she's... And, and these two boys who are speaking in Spanish... Are her native Spanish speakers. Yeah. And this yeah. is the moment of their... This is the peak moment of yeah. their engagement yeah. in, in language production. Because, in, in I mean, Spanish. these... Right, I mean, so right. I can't pretend I don't know. These are the boy. These are the children from her class. And oh. they are native Spanish speakers, or speaking Spanish at home. These other children are from the other classroom that is more of the monolingual English. Mm -hmm. And so she does now suddenly with this little girl start speaking Spanish. So of course that's going to get their attention in a very different way. And these guys are still kind of not paying attention. Um, there are other things that happen, I know, that like she takes up the little girl's comments, but she doesn't take up everybody's comments. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's there's anything wrong with that. So watch well, I'll show you because I always think it's Maya. Maya. There you go. Maya. Look at how much. Hold on. We're gonna lay it because right now the sand is going like this and it's dancing too. But you know what it's dancing too? What do you think? Wow. It's doing the popcorn. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at Leon's finger. Now look at the jar and tell me where the sand is at. Move back a little bit so other people can see. Yeah, you do it a lot, Coco. Okay, Alexis is touching it. Put your finger there, Alexis. Okay, now look. The sand did what? Went down. It sank. The water did what, Leon? Rise. It rise. And the rocks stay at the bottom. So we know then that matter occupies space. Yeah, okay, you can I'm start. I'm so tired of doing these things like you've done. Okay, you want to do what? Here's our experiment. So this is what I want you to do. Oh, it's 
not in here. I mean, so you, you are seeing what I normally do. Well, she picks, oh, okay. she picks up Jiggle from him, yeah. and then she leads the Coca-Cola exchange with Jiggle. Oh, does she really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't make it stop. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I think there's this yeah. beautiful thing that's happening. And I do think it's like she's trying like many different ways of keeping their attention and keeping their attention mm -hmm. on the things she wants them to do and, mm -hmm. and learn. So it's not just dancing when people say, like, let's get our wiggles out. I think it's a little bit of let's get our wiggles out. And mm -hmm. like when they ask kids to stand up and just jump around, she's not doing that. She's getting them to do it in relation to the thing that they're doing. So it's like, I'm doing something and I'm tying it back to the content of what I want mm -hmm. you to see here. And, you know, I think that the child is picking up on some, I mean, I hadn't noticed that. There you go, that's something new. I hadn't really noticed that she's really doing the same thing. I, I did know that, I mean, I wrote about that, but when I see her doing, exactly the same thing mm -hmm. but to mean something very different yeah. that's interesting like she's starting to like pick she's picking some things up from what's happening here yeah but she's also, also telling I think, it different she's extending it and i think that's yeah. actually a wonderful thing and it is that they're talking about matter occupying space and the teacher does take it to gas like she's yes. talking about coke which a very ordinary thing, just a regular everyday thing, but she turns it into a scientific thing. So the teacher yet again brings it back to, yes. I mean, she's tightly weaving this thing together with lots of different kinds of textures, like you know how to say it that way. Right. Um, yeah, and that, that's what I, it looks so, you know, good to me every time I see this. It's a small group of kids, I mean, that's, that's mm -hmm. part of it, but yeah. Was the do you I mean you know about the context? Was the intent that the kids who were somewhat more on the periphery were going to learn Spanish by being in instructional activities were bilingual? Well, that's what that's like the intention of the whole school. Okay. The programs that like her classroom is physically connected to the other classroom, and they move between the classes all the time. Okay. So the other you know segment that I looked at has kids from both classes again doing something okay. together. And, you know, here but the classes are not, they're not formed initially on the basis of first language. No, it is. They are. They are, okay. They are. And so the children so that's in a her class. So deliberate strategy. Correct. To... And I mean, I think that, I think, I it didn't see it in here, <clears> but I know that's in there, in a, or I guess it's before this begins, that she doesn't take up every single child's comments. She doesn't. But she mm -hmm. takes up this child's comments. Yeah. And the reason I ever looked at this video was because she said, the teacher said, that, that was the this is a shy child. It was the first time she really like spoke a lot in yeah. a group. And she had a Spanish, she used Spanish to make a science contribution. And she was blown away. Because she didn't think yeah. science is like she didn't say right. English. I need to speak in English when I'm talking right. about science. And she, she spoke in Spanish. And her the turn, assuming this is a yes, that's like, her. You know, Miss Guevara, cuando mm -hmm. if you wiggle, como una Coca Cola en mm -hmm. es bottle. So this inter interleaved Spanish and English, I think it's just yeah, really interesting. It is. I don't know what it means to call it Spang Spanish. I don't think it's Spanglish. Bi bilingual. I just think she's doing yeah. She's like an emerging bilingual. Right. You know, she's got a little. She's got a little bit of both. She's. I think she actually doesn't say. I mean, so we have different transcripts. Different transcripts. You don't think I she says bottle? Go crazy. What this. is the Spanish but word I for would, bottle? Is it? I think she says como or something una like that. No. Bota. I think she bota. says. Bita. I think she says something else. But I would. I mean, those are the kinds of things that start freaking me out. Like I need to know if she's using Spanish. She does say if. Uh, if you wiggle, or you know, when you wiggle, well, can we does, listen to I it? Oh, if we can, can go can back. It, maybe go back. That's I'll tell you what, let's try and just quit out of that. Can't do that. It's like semi frozen, and I think that matters because I want to know, well, you know, we'll what she that. says in Spanish. Of course, it's 
starting again. Um, yeah, but she she like scientizes it, you know, when she says like, what does a Coke have? And the child, this reminds me of things we, when we worked in a classroom together, it's, she's very literal. What does it have? It has cat. Mm -hmm. It has cat. It has mm -hmm. a lip, right? It, she, that's not what she meant. She meant like, let's think of Coca-Cola oh, as yes. a scientific, yeah. uh, as an object. Yeah. What is like, as a phenomenon, like, what does it have? It's gas and water. Right. It's like, whoa, like, that's a huge leap from like, what does a Coke have? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what, you know, I, actually, I do know, I do feel like she's very responsive to what the child's saying, so, that you <sighs> shake it, and what she's saying is the soda pops. And yeah. she was doing that, I think, from her, watching her doing all her movements. So I, I, I have, a, I have a, like a little hypothesis about what girl, a child two might be saying. Child two is, is this? Child? Yeah. Okay. Which is, if you have a bottle of Coca-Cola and you shake it or wiggle it, mm -hmm. then you start to take the top off. The bubbles rise very quickly to the neck, and if if you cinch it, they fall again. Oh, and you, can, you think you can that's actually where she's going? She back doesn't. And forth. I don't so think she lid, says it though. The lid. But she doesn't say the lid on her own. That's because the teacher asks her, "What does it have?" I think that she wants her to say, "What does it have?" It's got a gas. But but if you were like as a thought experiment, if you yeah. were to think oh, no, it, what, the, what, what the girl is doing is she's yeah. saying, "I have with a bottle of Coke in the past." I shook it up right. and I started to open it and the bubbles rushed to the up the neck and I, I stopped it and they fell again. It would be like well, that's rising and falling. Because there's true. rising you and think falling about, like, in, what it is. in the jar. That's right. In the like, jar. What, what connection is she making between so, so, what yeah. she just saw and what she knows with Coca-Cola? Exactly. Right. I mean, it's just true. Exactly. She's doing it and I do think that she's making a parallel between this thing, of course, and what she's experienced. And the teacher just quickly gets it to, like, what is it scientifically? Right. And the teacher is going to get to gas. Yeah. You know, they're going to go through, you know, solids, liquids, yeah. and gas. So she's tying it to what she needs yeah. to do. I just, I just find her contribution oh, my goodness. kind of startling. It's yes. like, and I get that it's, it's, it's confirming to hear you say that the teacher said, look at this video. This because this little reason. girl, this, was this the is the reason she wanted That's you to look. And so I just think... I, I kind of want to yeah. do. I want to do total justice to <laughs> what she yeah. is possibly providing because I think she's got a really good demonstration, not of what the teacher intends no. to teach. No, no. This is the. This is the experiment. Okay, you want to do what? Here's our experiment. This is what I want you to do. Time. Down. She flips the lid on. She's mapping it onto this thing because she just saw it go up and down in that thing. That's that. Hey, yeah, I never saw, I don't think I've seen that part where she's, yeah, what is she doing? Well, she's, 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 she's capping it. She's right. capping it. She's doing so I think lid made something to her. Yeah, And I think her silence at this moment, yeah, child two's silence unsure. is sort of like, she's unsure. that's not what right. I was saying, you know? <laughs> it's, so I it's, the sign, of, it's the scientific that, version, exactly. it's like, that's not what I was saying. Exactly. Right. No, I think you're right. I don't think I noticed her before putting her hand on the yeah. top and, and what, But so, I still don't know what that, like, why? So she's like mapping the phenomenology oh, no, of the coke onto, onto the demonstration. I mean, you're right, that like, why would she say, like, what does it have, what? The child, she, the teacher wants her to say, yeah. <laughs> right. It's, it she doesn't, she, does she, okay, now we're no nuts, but does she put her hand on before she says I don't know, lid? Question. Because then I'll be convinced. Okay, I saw it go. But she's, look at her, look at she's doing so. Oh, totally, yeah. Yeah, there she goes. Yeah. She puts her hands before. So she, so goes, she, she covers does this, the top, right? and then she does that. Yeah. 
So those two movements are di yeah. semantically different. Totally. Actions. Yeah. yeah. No, that's cool. That's very cool. I never. And I. So for me, like what I wrote about was the kind of amazing. It's about improvisation when teachers are responding mm. in the moment to some strange yeah. thing, yeah. and it's kind of like I mean. I don't think it's a third space. I think it is an improvisational moment. I think the teacher did not know what the child was going to do. The child says something. It's related, but not exactly. And the teacher's right and, back. And it's being pulled back and right. pulled back. But and the back. lid, I didn't realize yeah. the lid. Kids make sense. Ray was right all those years ago. Holy crap. Okay. So we <laughs> wrap it up. We're just having fun. Okay.